Hello, welcome back to the international news stage here at CES. Um, I'm here with the uh, I'm here with Huawei's Changzhu Li, uh, who's going to talk to us about uh, what's going on in, uh, with Huawei and smartphones and wearable technology. Um, and uh, I uh, I hope we're going to have a, a really interesting conversation about you know what's coming next from Huawei too. Thank you very much for being here. Um, yeah. How's your CES been so far, Changzhu? Uh, it's very fantastic. And every year I've been there for five years. Every year I have uh, some new setup of uh, the marketplace. And uh, for example, this year also have some changes. And also this is a feature of this industry. Always changing, always changing. And uh, I think this is a leading exhibition worldwide for the consumer electronics. It uh, also means a lot for Huawei. So we are active. At, uh, at this exhibition, and also we have a lot of uh, experts from the headquarters from worldwide of our R and D uh, and marketing sales, and to visit here to yeah to have the communication with the industry. So I'm very honored to be here to have a conversation with you. Thank you very much. Well, no, thanks for <laughs> thanks for coming. Um, so what are what are our Huawei showing off at the show this year? Sorry. Uh, what, uh, what devices are you um, showcasing at CES 2015? Uh, this year, in the, uh, yeah, we look at in the uh, south hall, and it's the second floor in hall three, and we expect uh, some uh, uh, newest launched uh, products: the Mate 7, the uh, G7, and the Honor 6 Plus. And later on, maybe I will I will talk about more. Uh, on that, mm -hmm. and uh, actually, uh, because the smartphone the industry is uh, changing and developing very very fast, and also with very great uh, uh, potentiality. And uh, last year, we have uh, globally delivered, shipped uh, over 75 million pieces of smartphone. And uh, next year, it's absolutely this year. Well, this number will surpass. Uh, uh, 100 million, of course, maybe 120 million. That's our target. Wow. Yeah. So uh, it's, it has a great opportunity. So our focus is to develop the not only on the product, but also on the brand. The consumer will love, will love this brand as well as this uh, product. So that's our focus. So we don't worry if there is a be left product, we don't worry about the sales. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, obviously smartphones, yeah. is a very competitive market. Yeah. Um, how do you go from 75 million, which is a lot of devices, to 120 million when you're up against such you know, huge rivals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, a, it's a good question. We think it uh, every second in the past few years. <laughs> yeah, we can see that from the last uh, five to seven years and uh, this industry changed from the feature phone to the smartphone. And so the consumer's appetite is changing very fast, very fast. And also on the other side, we can see that the, the industry also leading the appetite changing of the consumers. So what we are thinking for the next step is how do we develop the product or product series, the consumer like it. They will love it. So for my personal view, my philosophy, because in Huawei, I'm in charge in Huawei Consumer Business Group, I'm in charge of the strategy, mm -hmm. marketing, including the business strategy as well as the, the, the technology strategy. So we can see that so far, the technology is not, not enough, is not uh, far enough. It's, it's enough. But the difficulty lies, the strategy lies on the choice. Depending on what kind of product you are going to develop, you are going to deliver to your end users. And so from my personal view, our design philosophy including uh, three aspects. I mean, this is uh, our thinking for the next step. Mm -hmm. The first one is uh, actually it's uh, three good things. Three good things. The first one is 
the good looking. <laughs> the good looking. And absolutely, when you, when you are, we, we observe the behavior of the purchase. And the first thing is the touch and the see. Mm -hmm. And this decides the 70% of the decision making. And from the first looking, yeah, and the first touching. And this is uh, warm, it's uh, amiable, it's uh, comfortable. And so we, uh, we will keep on the innovation on the design. Mm -hmm. The design means the idea, the material, uh, yeah, kinds of these things. And we have a design center located in, in UK. And also we have another athletic uh, 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 research center, right. a fashion design, a fashion research center in France. Okay. You know, that this is a, a, the, the gorgeous uh, resource of the, all the fashion things. So we, we combine all of this uh, excellent resource together to guarantee that we, we will design the beautiful things from the first looking, mm -hmm. and also as well as the, uh, the material applica application that we are going to use uh, more and more innovative material, comfortable material, amiable material, to the to the to the to the smartphone, so good looking is uh, I must say is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah good looking, and the second is uh, good experience, a good experience, and uh, nowadays the uh, there are a lot of uh, functions in the handset. Mm -hmm. I I believe that also there is uh, hundreds of hundreds of thousands of the applications in the in the in the app store. But you are not use so many things, yeah. and uh, so how to create the good experience through the everyday, every second usage? It's another challenge for us. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's another challenge, and uh, uh, and so uh, we must uh, get the insight of the user's behavior. Because uh, you use the handset every day, mm -hmm. every second. This is the uh, most, uh, how to say, most uh, the closest friend of you, right. like yes. your secretary. <laughs> and so, and also it's very, very powerful insight about the storage, about the yes. computation, about the wireless transmission capability. Mm -hmm. So the challenge for us is how to exhaust this capability to create the best user experience for that. Yeah. And, uh, and the third aspect yep. is uh, the good story. The good story. Okay. Sometimes I think the me, uh, myself, or you use the handset for, on one side is for myself, mm -hmm. the usage. Another side, it's a, it's a kind of a story tailor. It's a story tailor. If my experience is good, yeah. if I have some kind of emotion connection with this smartphone, I can tell my story, uh, tell story to my friends, my uh, colleagues. Yeah. It's a kind of uh, communication, automatic communication. It's mm -hmm. very, very important. It's a, it's a consumer help us to build our reputation. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, for this, it's not only on the brand uh, building. It's not only a brand building, but also on the related to the good user experience. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's our that's uh, general. three things. But the, yeah. the, so user experience and, and the fashion side of things, the design, and presumably, those two things, they are the story a lot of mm. the time, do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They, are, they are the part of the story. Yeah. So that means that if you, if you want to build a good brand, a super brand, which can uh, be uh, best communicated among the population, and uh, it's not only with the AD, with the fantastic icon, with uh, uh, celebrities, uh, yeah some kind of that, yeah. but it's with the spirit behind your 
brand. Mm -hmm. Our brand, our slogan is make it possible. And I understand a lot behind this slogan. Because actually, we, we sometimes we have very crazy idea during our brainstorming. Right. And sometimes we pick each other, and we abandon a lot, and finally we adopt some. Can you give me an idea of some of those crazy ideas that you've not gone for? Yeah, uh, we, we know that the, uh, some time ago uh, there is a, a concept uh, product, the light, field, the light field camera. Yes. It has hundreds of small lenses yeah, to get to the light. Uh, and, uh, and it brings some advantage. And so we come up with the idea, should mm -hmm. we launch the light field camera or something similar like that yeah. on the smartphone? Mm, interesting. Well, firstly, oh, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's very expensive. Yeah. Uh, so many lenses, how, how to manufacture that? And blah, 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 how, how to price that? <laughs> how to deliver the... the the information, marketing, how to, how to tell the story. And so, but uh, we, through the brainstorming and the discussion, we found that uh, with some, with some uh, uh, creative uh, technology approach, that we can use the multi-camera multi advantage to create some uh, uh, unique, innovative experience to the end user. So. That's the first result on the, this is owner six. Mm -hmm. We firstly, we deploy two camera on the handset. Right, okay. With the two camera on the handset, and it, it's, uh, it's bring a lot of interesting experience to you, and later I will show it to you. It will create a super HDR, even in the super low light condition. Right. Yeah, yeah, with only one snapshot. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. There is not the ghost when somebody is moving. There is no ghost because it's on with one shot. Two simultaneous images. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And also we can use this to, for example, to to measure the size of your book. Yeah, with one picture, only with the lens, can measure the size of book because it uh, simulated the the, the eyes uh, vision is a kind of a computi uh, computational vision theory area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also uh, actually we can use it uh, next step, we can use it for the 3D modeling combined with the 3D printing. Yeah. And you can imagine what kind of interesting stuff we can bring to the end users, especially yeah. to some uh, uh, geek. Yeah. Or to some uh, yeah, technical guys, <laughs> they will love it very much. So is that something you expect to see in a future yeah, yeah, yeah. Huawei handset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's, uh, it's uh, some algorithm is under developing uh, uh, in the laboratory. Right. And uh, but it will, it will come to the market the next phase. You mentioned um, the importance of design fashion. Um, so uh, it seems to me that at the moment fashion is incredibly important in technology, yeah. not just smartphones, but wearable technology yes. especially. Um, do you think that the um, manufacturers are putting enough uh, effort into creating beautiful devices or do you, in, in wearable, the wearable technology space? Yeah, uh, just now I mentioned that uh, uh, there are three things. The second thing is about the good function. Mm -hmm. Actually, this part is not only for the smartphone, because for, for, for our idea, now the smartphone is at the center of a whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It will be a hub of the information. It will be a hub of the services delivery. It will be a hub of the uh, communication human to human, mm -hmm. or human to machine, or even machine to machine. And so, wearable is a very, very important part in this ecosystem. We, I noticed from uh, two years ago, from even from CES, there are a lot of uh, wearable products 
and even I have, uh, yeah, I have tried a lot mm -hmm. the the wearables. Even the first uh, job on up, uh, that time I remember it's very expensive. And the, from the first launch wave, I bought it from 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 America. Uh, yeah, right. uh, yeah, but. Uh, but nowadays, uh, my personal view is that the wearable is still at the very, very initial stage of the hype. Because every company, they have their own thoughts on the, on the wearable. And also, very tricky thing, and everybody wants to be the center of the quantified life. Right. Yes. Of your quantified self. Everybody wants to be the center. Uh, I'm the yeah best one, and right, you, sure. you should uh, yeah yeah yeah, and uh, it's uh, my personal view. It's incorrect. Right. It's incorrect, and all the wearables should be in the relationship of uh, equal peer to peer, and equal to exchange their information, their insight and their services. And to reach that stage, that, that means that uh, the human is in the center. The human is in the center of all these wearable and the smartphone devices. Yeah. And all of this machine is serving the people. Is serving the people. Yes. In this way, I believe that it can, in a coordinate way, it can change our behavior. In even one single way, it's very, very hard to change the behavior mm -hmm. or change our lifestyle. So I think we need a new way of thinking of how to coordinate all the wearable and the smartphone, even the smart home, all the facilities, to, all, to coordinate it in a peaceful, peer-to-peer, -peer, equal, equally existence ecosystem. So does that mean for you um, that these, these devices behave, wearable devices behave autonomously, they furnish you with useful information? Um, do, do you think that's happening um, at all at the moment? Or is it too much, uh, too many different devices uh, in wearable technology? If we, if we conform to the, to the same standard, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's possible. Even with more wearable, if it's, uh, the, the ecosystem is uh, standardized, mm -hmm. and I think more wearable is welcome to join, and uh, it's more likely they are saying, uh, speaking the same language. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not denying the single functionality created by the, 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 the independent wearable device. Mm -hmm. They have their unique functionality. What I mean is if they coordinate with others, open himself to others, mm -hmm. it will make the things better, make the experience much better. Because a good wearable for my imagination, for my expectation, it's, uh, it's unnoticeable. Right. It will silently disappear in your life. It will disappear in your life. So do you think, is, 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 is Huawei making that sort of wearable, working on that sort of wearable technology? Uh, yeah, we yeah. are designing that in that way. It's, it's not easy. No. Yeah, it's not easy because it combines with, uh, with the ID, with the function, with the technology, with, uh, with the design, mm -hmm. with, uh, yeah. A lot of things you have to make the trade-off of a lot of things. But the wearable, like, like our computer, like our watch. Mm -hmm. When you wear the watch, the real watch, and when you, when you want to see, check the time, you will check it. Otherwise, you will, yeah, it, you it, it disappear. And also, there is another tricky thing, is we, when, when we are designing the wearable function, and uh, we are thinking how to shorten the time duration between your idea and the response. Mm. It's a very ugly experience uh, when you want to check the time. I wanted 
push a button and wait uh, one second. Oh, 